Question 24. Suppose we have an enumeration of a whole bunch of Turing machines. As a matter of fact, an enumeration of all of them. M0, M1, M2, where 0, 1, 2, and so forth are natural numbers. And which of the following problems are decidable? Um, decidable meaning we can determine an answer one way or the other. Now, <clears throat> the first one is, will a given machine halt in fewer than n steps? Number two is given a, a, a machine, will it halt in exactly n steps? And number three, will it halt uh, after at least n steps? This is the famous halting problem, and the, uh, the fundamental principle of the halting problem is you can't tell whether or not the machine will ever halt. You cannot prove one way or the other that a machine will halt. However, you can tell whether or not it'll complete one, two, or three steps. So considering that, let's take a look at the, these questions here. Can we say that a given machine will halt in fewer than n steps? Sure, we can count how many steps. If it halted, then it halted. We have a definitive answer. If it didn't halt, we have a definitive answer that it is, has not halted. So either way, it is what we call decidable. So, so the number one is, yes, that is decidable. Two, can it halt, can we say that it'll halt in exactly n steps? We can do the same, the same process and check to see if it halted in exactly that many steps. If it halted in fewer steps, the answer is no. If it halted in exactly that many steps, yes. Maybe it'll halt. Yeah, okay, that, that, that's that one. Now, three, can it halt after at least n steps? And we can count how many times it gets up to, you know, the, the, the program, how many steps the program completes, and you get to n. But we don't know if it'll ever halt. So even though we can tell whether or not it's completed n steps, we cannot tell whether or not it will halt after that. It might halt, it might not. So it's not decidable. So, the answer is D, 1 and 2.